Hi guys, I'm back once again with my ratchetness. Uh, today I'm actually going to review the sponge. I went to go pick it up and this is the Equate Sparkle Blender Sponge. Perfect for overall blending and it's latex free. This is what it looks like. Let me take it out of its packaging for you guys. I haven't felt it or anything yet. It is sparkly. Can you guys see the sparkles? You guys see it kind of like sparkling? Like, excuse my baby hairs back here. They're crazy right now. But it is kind of sparkly and it is in this shape. I do like whenever sponges have a pointy shape to compare it to the Real Technique sponge. Um, that's what it looks like. This is compared to the Real Technique sponge. Excuse my mind started. But um, they're about the same size. The Equate Beauty one is about the same price as the Real Technique sponge. Um, the Real Technique sponge is about $5 and so is this one. Um, I thought it was about $4 but I guess it was five, about $5. It's kind of like a harder sponge. Like I can just feel it right now. It's like pretty hard. So it did get pretty big guys. Like this is the size of it now. Um, and it used to be like about the size of the Real Technique sponge. So it did grow in size. It definitely did get a lot squishier. It was pretty hard at first. So I'm going to prime my face and then I will apply my foundation and my concealer with the sponge. And then I'm also going to do everything that I would usually do with the Real Technique sponge, which is like apply powder and stuff like that. So today I'm going to prime my face with some of this Nivea Men Close Shape Balm. Also going to add a little bit of just mattifying primer around my like nose area. And I'm just going to grab literally just a tiny bit of that. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in 238. And I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. So you guys can like watch the blending part of it. I'm using kind of like the butt of the sponge. And I'm just going to pounce this. This is kind of like a hard sponge. Of course not very hard. But like I can like feel it pouncing. doesn't feel like I want it to feel of course like it's blending everything out very nicely and did blend it out it wasn't like anything like oh my gosh this bunch feels great or anything like that I'm gonna use concealer now I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me I got light I thought I got sand okay well I'm not gonna use this concealer because I'm probably just gonna give it to my sister so I'm gonna use the um, Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and I'm just gonna this underneath my eyes and like I said I'm not trying to do a lot today but like this concealer is gonna like super super conceal my face so it's probably gonna look like I'm gonna do a lot but I'm not, I'm not gonna do very much I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the Maybelline um, New York 24 hour foundation just because it is just a tint like just a little bit too light for me um, so I'm just gonna grab a few dots of that foundation and put it underneath the eyes and just where I put the concealer at and then I'm gonna go in with this sponge and blend it out so I am pinching the sponge just to like get it to where I like get it in where I need it um, but I usually do that with my real technique sponge anyways like this one's kind of like a little too fat for me the real techniques one's more like pointy this one's a little too chunky and the point isn't as pointy as I would want it um, but that's you know that's just my opinion some people might not like it pointing. If you guys like to see underneath my eyes, it's not blending since I can't get in there. It's not blending underneath my eyes as good as I would like it to. Um, so I think that's like like I'm trying to get in there but usually my real technique sponge would blend that out pretty well so 
So I also wanted to say my sister was really worried about it because it does have sparkles on it But it doesn't seem to leave like any sparkles on your face now. I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna put a little bit of the hard candy sheer envy bright big brighten set loose finishing powder It's such a long name, but it's just like this banana shade I'm gonna mix just a teensy wit just a teensy bit not wit a teensy bit um, with my airspun naturally neutral powder the naturally neutral one is already kind of um, like it brightens up but I just want it like a little bit more like brighten up and I love the way like this powder is so fine by um, hard candy it is so fine I just love the way it just like makes my skin look whenever I mix it it just kind of looks like a little bit yellow I don't know if you guys can see like the yellow in there a little bit on the back or on the little pointy side of the sponge and I'm gonna I'm in the That is all I really use a sponge for and I will come back whenever I'm all done with my makeup and I will um, tell you guys just my final thoughts. I'm going to sit on it for a little bit, see you know what I think of it. Okay guys, I am back. I'm sorry I changed my background. I'm about to film another video um, and this video I'm excited to film because it's kind of going to be like an intro for my channel kind of all over again just explaining who I am, what I stand for here on my channel so I'm excited for that. That's what I'm going to film next after this um, video but I just wanted to come on and and um, tell you guys what I think about this sponge. So I like this sponge. It's a good quality sponge for $5. This is what I'm comparing it to because this is like my favorite sponge. So um, I feel like this is a lot of people's favorite sponge. So I feel like a lot of time people compare it to this or the Beauty Blender. But I really like the Real Techniques one. Um, and honestly, I feel like just get the Real Techniques one. And I like... I honestly feel like if you're debating on which one to get, then I feel like get the Real Techniques one. I feel like it just gets better like underneath my eyes. I like how this one works a little bit better. This one's a little bit more chunkier and a little bit, um, you know, harder to use underneath my eyes. But other than that, I feel like it does work pretty well. I mean, it's honestly all about preference. If you, I know that my sister likes a little bit harder sponges just because they press her powder in a little bit better than, you know, softer ones. So it's definitely like all about your preference. It's a good sponge. It does what it says it does. It's meant to blend out. And I mean, my makeup looks good right now. It's not like it just, it, it's not like it took a lot of my foundation. I do really like the Real Technique sponge and I won't trade this one in for this one. Other than that, guys, I feel like that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Up. don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't I will talk to you guys next time bye guys